hello everyone today we have a, a very simple procedure we are replacing a, a, um, a PCM or powertrain control module or the engine computer on our Ford vehicle let me tell you what year is it because I have no clue what it is I know it's a Ford Explorer is that 2011 Ford Explorer it does not matter what kind of engine size you have it will work in all of them most okay so um, right now we have the original computer installed on the vehicle if you wanted to put the um if you wanted to put the um uh, the, the new one the car will not start immobilizer will act up okay there's a couple of procedures we have to do and i will get you through all of them okay so once you auto automatically select the vehicle at least using with the im608 hotel okay um you will get to the section the main menu basically from the main menu we're going to go to programming Programmable module installation or PMI. Okay, we're gonna go in here. What it basically will do is that um, it will copy wind number and some of the information from that module for the car to be able to start. It will clone it to the uh, new one that we're um, or donor want to use one, um, and that's it. And then we have to do a couple more procedures, which I will show you. I will get to it very quickly. Hit okay, is that the wind number? Let's go and check it, make sure because that is very important. If you see in here, okay, it's 8324. Let's look it up in here. 8324. So that is the right, correct win number. So it's right, it will just, okay, perfect. Now it's telling me to shut the ignition off, which I just did right now. Ignition is off. Press okay. And, and then now it's gonna ask me to um, install a new module on the vehicle. And let me go ahead and do that, and we'll continue the video. Okay, guys, so um, that's the old PCM, power train control module, and that's the new one from the junkyard, okay? I didn't put nothing in. Everything is um, kind of a little loose. They will take care of that. All I'm here to do is to start this vehicle with the new computer. All right, so um, let's get back in the vehicle. And um, let's see our screen. It says install the new module. We did install the new module, okay? Press OK. It says turn the ignition on. Let's take this out of here. I will show you what's gonna come on right now. As you see, and we're gonna have some type of security light coming on somewhere around, or at least if it's not even showing it, um, this car will not, definitely not start, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and follow the screen. Okay, so um, ignition is on, press OK. The battery's in good condition. We have 11.88 watts, which is fine because for the procedure that we're about to do right now, we don't need too much. It's not gonna take too long time. It's gonna be very quick. All right, so we can safely go ahead and do that. Right now it's configuring the, um, writing the VIN number and all that stuff, um, which is just it right now. Calibration has been loaded and checked. Everything's fine. Right now we're gonna have a whole bunch of uh, U-codes most likely. Turn the ignition off, it's telling me to do. Ignition is off. Press OK. Guys, this procedure is done. Now we're gonna get to the next level. Now, it's programmed, right? No problem, okay. But if you try to start the car, it will not start. You see this? It will not start. And I will show you why in a minute, okay? Um, this car actually it came with only one key okay came with only one key like this and uh to be able to make this car start we need two keys okay which i brought another one with me so we're gonna be programming uh, two keys to this vehicle and um let's go from there but before even doing that let's do a parameter reset basically in the ford vehicles anytime you we are changing uh, um, if you're changing an immobilizer related component, we have to perform a parameter reset, okay? So what we need to do is right now is that we need to get out of here completely. I think you can also do it in the diagnosis section, which we'll work on at right this moment. But um, I'm not really sure. I don't want to waste time. I'm going to go to immobilizer section. And um, 
gonna order in the vehicle. Actually, this will show us actually if it did write the VIN number. What do you say? We have good communication, obviously. Bomb, we had the right VIN number right now, as you see, guys. Perfect. That's okay. We have a smart key. Okay. Plus, yes. We're gonna go to control unit. Keyless system can. You're gonna do key learning. And then from here, um, okay, you see what it says in here? There's two options, which I'm not exactly sure to be honest with you guys. It's telling me to do um, to do a parameter reset, either BCM and PCM or uh, BCM and RFA. RFA is, is basically the radio frequency ha uh, actuator or um, remote function actuator. So I don't think we need to do that because um, um, we only replaced the uh, PCM, the, you know, the power chain control module. We need to remarry together with the BCM body control module since all the keys are actually, um, um, all the keys are, are located in the BCM in the body control module, okay? It does, it should take about 10 minutes. Sometimes it gives me a surprise and boom, it does not 10 minutes, it does not two minutes or maybe even less in a couple seconds. But most likely it's gonna take about 10 minutes, which is us very usual for Ford, vehicle, Ford vehicles. Let's see what happens. It'll be amazing if it just does it right now. Nope, it does not, <laughs> okay. So um, we gotta wait for 10 minutes, guys. This is only for security, okay? Programming the keys actually is very easy to this vehicle. Um, you just hit a couple of uh, buttons and then boom, the keys are programmed. But just to make sure that nobody is stealing a vehicle, they will make you wait for 10 minutes. It is not configuring anything. It is just uh, making you wait for 10 minutes um, to get into the uh, security system on the vehicle, just for the um, make just to make sure that the car is not being, you know, it's not the car is not being stolen or nobody steal the car. Everything is fine. Okay. I mean, imagine if you're a thief, you have to sit in the car and wait for this for 10 minutes. Um, that will be a problem, right? <laughs> okay, guys, so um, let's finish this um, function and I will continue. Okay, everyone, so um, the parameter reset is finished, actually. Um, the car started and I was really happy, everything was fine, but and then I shut the engine off, it will not start again. So I found out that these are, these are the very early years of they making the first time they push to start. They have two different functions of parameter resets. If you uh, remember in the, uh, one of the screens that you, you saw where I hit the parameter reset button, you ha we actually had to re you know, reset the um, ECM and the BCM, and then ECM and the RFA, basically remote uh, function actuator. We had to do two different, um, uh, we had to do like uh, two different um, uh, the parameter resets. And you know what? We did not have to program two keys to it. The car was already loaded with two keys in it. It was programmed with, uh, sorry, three keys in it, and it didn't. Uh, we didn't have to um, program another key for it. The car just started right up. Okay, but the customer actually still wanted to um, uh, program another key for it because he does not have the third key. Um, he only had um, he only had um, one key, so I programmed another key for it. I Sorry about that. I, Erase all of the keys and are pre-programmed uh, another key for it. So we have two keys total right now. Everything is fine, guys. This is how you program this vehicle at this model. It's a little bit different than the other rest of the Fords. Okay, um, you have we we had to do two different parameter resets. Keep in mind because after the car shut off, uh, after I shut off the car, I will try to you know hit the button in here, you know push the start. The car ignition will not want to turn on. It looks like the bottom was not doing nothing. But that was not the story. The story was that um, we had to do two different parameter resets. Keep that in mind, all right? Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Enjoy the rest of your day.